Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Justin, you're watching The Tall Guy Gamer, and we are playing God of War on the PlayStation 5. Last time we got to the base of the mountain, and of course there is a big giant mouth uh, vomity black crap, and apparently Where I can't walk through that, so. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I can't oh, there we go. say I want to break those vases out of, uh, well, for no reason at all. Just give that a turn. Because I want to. There. Do I adjust my camera here? You want my head? Cut off my Tears entire chin. At the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. Sounds like a tough dude if he can fight the snake. You know, we actually talked to the world serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Well, thanks for bringing us down, guys. Yeah, I was having fun. Until that. Now we're gonna have a crying Kratos in the corner. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back across. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Please. Are you watching? Rios! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. I know what that means. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guys. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Good outlook. Good outlook on life. I'm telling you what we need. Somebody needs to make this. I want Kratos like in all sorts Tears of situations. Temple. He's Built not meant with help for. from the giants. Great Tear used it to travel the nine realms and keep the peace between them. Doesn't seem very peaceful. Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by dead things. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled. Save for the Reavers. Savage enough to survive in such a world. I want, like, Kratos, like... Like I said last time, like at the, you know, the make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. HOA meeting. I want him uh, at the PTO meeting. It's like a bake sale. You know, he brings like cookies that he's completely burnt, hey, but people eat them anyway because they're scared lighters. of them. Wait there while I reawaken the This could be good lights. stuff, guys. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll just uh, do that. Looks easy. Good. Now push it back into place. <laughs> now realign the wheel onto the track. Just uh, lift a car. Now push the bridge along the track. <laughs> what? The whole 
entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches That's its right. first position. I am Tired really strong. Yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did then your magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. You're welcome, lady. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Well, you don't gotta be so pissed about it. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. A lot of exposition here. It's keeping me from talking. My uh, blabber mouth is getting, uh, getting restless. Shoot, Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Oh, yeah, that sounds easy, right? Once you do this, just infuse it. Infuse it. Oh, okay. Infuse it? Yeah. All right. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Yeah, the old Bifrost, eh? How about, uh... Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree and make travel between the realms possible. Come on, does it work? Get on it. You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. Gotta do that with some gusto. Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree separated only by the Bifrost light of Alfheim. Makes this sense. place can focus and control that light. And is this the world tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The tree of life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. 
everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Tell me yes. something I don't know. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes, the wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. Hmm. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Decidedly convenient now and the friendly. Realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. Me, what? See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Well, I like a good mystery. We shall solve it. It didn't work. We're still here. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black breath go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Once again, decidedly convenient. Last use. Show me potato salad. Probably seen out of place. There's a line from Family Guy. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot the light? I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of yep. a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. Don't get caught up in that. She's Aww. not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. The mystery of it. What was she going to say? Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Touch okay. nothing, except for these vases. <laughs> Let's break them. Because Kratos hates flowers. And anything that they may grow inside of. But what I was gonna say is, imagine him like a. I think you killed like a freaking house at association what meeting, the and they're like pissed at Kratos, like he has to keep his yard short or something. I want to see that conversation. Whoa. What's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. It's not our concern until they jump all over us. Speaking of HOA meetings, guys, I got a good story for you about the HOA at my old neighborhood. Not the one I live in now, thank God. What does it say? Hmm, something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. <laughs> yes. Greedy, greedy, greedies. So I got, oh, hold on. We got going here. They keep murdering the way. Oh. It is war, 
the end of one. The world one's lost. Well, this seems unnecessary. Oh, come on. Let's see, uh, gotta remember what I'm doing here. Dead and die. What are they attacking us for? We didn't do anything. That's what I said, man. I'm on your War side. Come. I get it. Ugh. So where's this stuff even come from? So anyway, I got this HOA meeting right in my own neighborhood. So there's these two guys. I'm gonna first names only, whatever. One guy named Billy, one something? guy named Stuart. No. Okay. Apparently, Stuart leaves his trash cans out, like, all week. Stuart used to be on the HOA board with Billy, okay? A little backstory for you. Basically, two days before this meeting, Billy tells me a story about the night he had a gun At least we're getting outside and basically threatens this Stuart dude. So then, two days Wait, later, at this meeting... Stuart brings it up and he says, Billy, you remember outside when you threatened me with a gun <laughs> in the road? And Billy, who's like a 50-year-old man, right? We're not talking about a kid. He puts on this fake face and starts rubbing his beard. It's like, in the road. Like he's trying to remember this situation that he just told me about. So, Look, obviously faking it. Up over there. And these people, uh, they all start yelling. Hey, Sindri. You sneaky son of a bee. To work we go. Why were you hiding? All sorts of stuff to craft now. Although, oh, a Viking. Whose strength, though? I like my current strength. Why would you try to take away my strength? See, that's a that's a plus on the strength. I don't know. I'm well, not gonna make anything, anything right now. I'm doing just fine. So anyway, this lady starts, this other lady, it's what you guys would affectionately call a Karen. I try not to use that term because it's offensive to Karens that aren't Karen-like. But uh, anyway, she is this big woman who is pissed about these trash cans and allegedly because coyotes are coming from the trash cans. And she tells a story about how the DNR told her that the coyotes can smell the trash from 13 miles away and will come and all this kind of stuff. What did you say? <laughs> He says, I said nothing. they're really? not coming from my trash, or they're okay. not my trash cans, and she immediately yells right out in the middle of it. You say fucking our story! <laughs> so this other woman says, speak of this realm. Not much. She I says, this is personal. Always fighting over the light. Well, it sounds personal. And the, uh, the Karen yells, it's not fucking personal! And then she walks out and leaves. And then the, the, the one woman who said it was personal, she gets up and walks out. <laughs> and her husband, he's just, you know, got a lot of cojones, right? Uh, can, and can speak for himself and think for himself. He slowly just uh, gets up and wanders out without uh, saying a word to anybody with his balls in her purse. I was just making a circle there. I didn't know if I was missing anything. And then one of the other best parts is that Stuart and Billy are talking. And, uh. Again, I said nothing. Wait, could have sworn you said something. Oh. What is it, boy? He's got head problems. Mm. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. Mm. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil.
So Billy's talking about how he doesn't hate Stuart and he likes him and all this kind of stuff. And Stuart says, Bill, do you remember when I was on the board and you wouldn't help me? And Bill just flips the switch and says, I no, wouldn't help you if you were the last help. person on Earth. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe. do not concern us. Guys, I know I'm probably not telling this story the best, but my God, this was the best HOA meeting I have ever been to. I was like a kid in a candy store. I was watching everything, smile on my face, turning left, turning right, watching everyone banter back and forth and bicker. Oh my God, my wife was extremely uncomfortable. I loved it because it was very entertaining for me. And these people are ridiculous. It was like, you guys are adults. Get it Look at that. together. That must be the Ring Temple. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Back to the boat! Another great thing was there's this guy. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I didn't ever really talk to him. But he's like 300 pounds. He's a big guy and he, and he walks with a cane. And he was complaining that the already super uneven ground it's on a slope down by our pond is hard place, to walk by and they need to do ugly. something. I see like, the eyes of it. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. But Let's dude, go. you are a big, big heavy guy that walks with a cane and you Careful are complaining boy. that it's hard to walk down there. What are they doing? It's just... No. He covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Focus up, boy. I don't know what happened to that guy. Oh. Oh, come on. Wrong guy. Get him. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, look out. Oh, sorry about you, dude. That didn't work out well for me. Anybody else? Any more takers? I didn't think so. Oh, shit. So, anyway. Fun HOA. I don't live in that neighborhood anymore. Thank God. Okay, so that did something. Think. But let's put Kratos in a situation like that. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking for. You see, right now, Kratos is in the exact situation we expect him to be. Right? This place fits his his world. Well, this world fits his personality. Whatever you want to say. Well, let's put him in a position he's not supposed to be in. We've got comedy gold. Right? You gotta make things not go according to the plan. Ugh, I hate these guys. The stuff they put on the ground that then blows up in your face. That's what makes me mad. Where'd my axe go? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. What is their problem with Like the Joker says, we do not Batman, right? here. Nothing's, uh, it's all good when it's going according to plan, basically. But if something doesn't go according to plan, everybody panics. Or, you get comedy. Wait, 
combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come back to the sand bowl. It'll make sense, kid. What's that? What's what? What are you looking at? There's something I missed. I don't know. I don't know what he was looking at. So, what do you mean I see with the eyes of a child? In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. That's a very cool part about this game, at least I think it's a very cool part, is that if you interrupt the conversation that him and Atreus are having, like, as soon as it can get back to it, it'll get brought back up and they'll Father, finish it. Unlike a lot of games where you completely miss room. out on the conversation. I think that's a nice touch. Draw it. Yeah, draw it. Uh, He's standing there. Uh, mm. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices. Less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say. No. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. All cool, Dad. All cool. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! I found it. It's mine. Hey, also, guys, I've been talking to my friend. The voice Do you guys want to see a it was hard to make out, but Zelda Skyward Sword? Sure remake a uh, video that on the switch possible. I know what I heard Atreus enough no he looks different look at those horns behind me boy that can't be good Get it. Oh, who the heck? Really, guys? How about some of this? How about that? I'll punch you in the face. It's the freaking fury. Get him. A holes. So anyway, Skyward Sword HD, whatever the heck the game is called, I don't know. But uh, it would be a blind playthrough because I never played the original. I almost know nothing about it other than you f do some flying. Stay away from those cages. I assume there is a sword called the Skyward Sword, but that's just an assumption on my part. Free ready. What? Making all the noise. Huh? Hope that was worth it. <laughs> what the heck is that supposed to mean? Why wouldn't it be worth it? Huh. Let's see, how can we do this? Um Put the axe there and then bring it to me here. Nice. I still remember some things. I are smart. What's this? Propulsive slice attack that launches a small vertical wave that inflicts medium frost damage. Eh, it doesn't sound very fun. Hack silver. What kind of name is that? Hack silver. Is that real? Is that made up? I don't know anything about hack silver. Uh, 
Uh, more guys. Ooh. Flower pots break. Oh, this is broken. Can't use it. Uh, okay. Guess you guys are just gonna hang out in there. How are these Draugr even in these cages here? How would this Draugr get here? If they couldn't take the Bifrost to come here like I did, how are they here? Uh, no. Oh! Oh, you see, there's a jogger working with him. Oh, come on. Ready anyway. Oh, crap. That is a brutal hit. I love this execution right here. Wow! Suck on it. It's a very cruel environment. I like this, uh, this world, this biome, this whatever you want to call it. This realm. I would just need some Chris Hemsworth to show up. Complete the illusion. Alright, I guess we're using this thing. Ooh, just sit the kid down. You think that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. Gotta be, uh... Something sneaky here somewhere. Okay. Tricky. Very tricky. Really? I can't hit that? There we go. Good, well-placed kick. Uh, is there another one here? Oh, come on. Really? Oh, almost. Where can I, uh, how do you get that one up there? Oh, no way you can throw your axe in there. Oh, well, I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it or not, but that worked. Genius. Oh, 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 go back up. One more. There we go. That's all I wanted. That's so difficult. Ooh, yeah. Treasure. Apples or horns? Apples or horns? Apple. It's an apple. Uh, how the heck do you get up there? I want to say. That there is a path up there behind me. And then. There we go. You see, that's how I could have got that room. That's how it was intended. I just tricked the system, which got me nothing because I still had to come up here to do this. And have to do this one more time. That is one of the only downfalls of the puzzles in this game. Some of them you kind of uh, repeat yourself many times. To uh, collect all the stuff, take all the paths. You were wrong back whatever there. you want to say. I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Don't piss him off, dude. You know, another thing that we need to I hope gets announced soon, or at least properly. I don't think it was announced properly. What is that? Oh, this is just to lower that if I need to get out. Is, you know, there's a whole talk of a Dead Space remake or a reboot or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'll definitely need to play that on record that, guys. That would be Dead Space is a fantastic game. And guess what? The original still holds up pretty well, to be honest. So, the, uh, but a new one would be awesome. Couldn't play the current one now, wouldn't be enough jump scares. Oh, 
We are pissed. You don't screw with my son. I get that if you're watching from a distance, it looks like I don't care about him too much, but uh, but he does. And when he screw with him, it sends me into a rage that you guys don't want to see. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, use that god strength. Try to use my axe against me, Ben. I think you are. Trace has got a lot of arrows, you know that? Uh-oh. Got some armored guys. Oh, come on. Come here. Take a beating like you should. But yeah, get that rage out, Kratos. I think sometimes you bottle your feelings up too much, man. You know, you don't show enough uh, emotion. Too bad the witch's bowstring doesn't work anymore. It's not. So we can't go that way or that way. Or we can't go down there. Grab that. Follow me, Atreus. It feels weird sometimes to be trying to do running commentary. Sometimes it's easier than others, obviously. There's the... Is there another one? Is there two of these? Huh. Well, if there's only one, why... Hold on. There's got to be another one, like, from down here. There we go. Um, it's so much easier to do right now too. Later in the game, it's like really, really dark here, and it, if you don't do that now, it makes it a lot harder. At least I think so. And I can't go that way. Anyway, the commentary is sometimes easier than others. Sometimes it's better than others. You know, actually, I feel right now if you're watching this episode, I feel like my commentary has been pretty weak. Uh, the point is, is that it's sometimes it feels weird. I remember a guy we used to play Warcraft with, he did like a commentary. He wasn't even streaming, right? We were just playing with him and he would do a commentary. Like, uh, checking my bags, uh, move this item hey, here to there. You sure the witch is okay? And just saying all that, like, on our, like, team speak. She knew what she was doing. Ventrilo okay. that we were using at the time. And he's like, hey man, we can hear you. We don't need to know what you're doing in your bags. Shut your hole. Ooh. Lights. Ugh, more of it. Yeah, yeah, more of it, kid. Get over it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. Always expect resistance. That's for sure. It's not caught. Cod? It's not cod? It's not called. God of friendship. God of war. God of kicking ass. Look out. Bad time. Yo, oh, look out. Oh. All right, guys. Getting old. I'm bad. Bad timing. Okay, here we go. There we go. Now you're in trouble. Oh, 
thought he was gonna give me the old chop. Hey, dude. Not cool. Oh, where are you at? Oh! Holy crap! I didn't even mean to hit that guy. I don't know if he would have woke up yet, if I hadn't hit him or not. But. Oh! He needs to spit something out, I think. Maybe I need to hit him right in the chest, right when he's... Oh, there we go. That's what I need. Oh, crap! That wasn't cool. Oh, it works. But, I did make a mistake. There we go. You gotta hit him. Get these things. And chuck it. Let's chuck another one. Now we're giving the business. Yeah, baby. Give to him. Right in the kidneys. All right, one more of those ought to do it. Oh, crap. Where did that guy come from? Oh, come on. I got time for these guys. I'm trying to fight this dude. Look out. Hey, Atreus, shoot this guy. Whoa! Okay. Grab one and chuck. Booyah! As my friend Jagita would say, easy. We've got, we've got. Fragment the heart of Alfheim. Reduces all damage from Dark Elves attacks by 12%. That sounds pretty nice. Well, there it is. Watch our backs, boy. Yes. Watch our backs while I manhandle this. Oh, hold on. Actually, that's a... Uh... What, what was that enchantment? Where do I... Uh... Don't remember how to do that. Is that something I put into slotted armor? Must be. Because it's not something I put on any of this stuff. Well, wouldn't you know it. Say though, I did pick up something I never checked. These. Uh, woo! Plus 12, plus 6, and only minus 5 there. Yeah, we'll take that. What's new in weapons? This one. That seems pretty cool, but I'm not taking it. Alright. All right, your dad's got some brains. I did it. He brought the main bridge back. You must find a way up. Pretty lights. All right, that's some good prize, guys. Guys, let's see this one here. If um, if you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear anything you guys have to offer. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you guys want to see more of this stuff, please subscribe. But other than that, I really appreciate the views. Uh, you guys are awesome. Love you for it. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for hanging out.